thank uh, all the people that came in to support the guys um, and the ones watching at home. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, it's been an up and down season, but I'm all about energies and frequency. And when you see that team play, um, whoever we play, right, in, in, in a tournament conference, is gonna is, is I mean it's gonna it's gonna have it's gonna have their hands full. I don't I don't go back on my word. Um, Louisiana is a, is a heck of a team, but well coach. It's not about anybody else but us, right? And um, I know what we got in that locker room. We be, we're playing for a bigger bigger cost, and um, all of those guys have dreams of playing professional basketball. But to do that, they gotta win first, and and we gotta be where our feet are. are. And I'm so, so proud of everybody there, staff, Coach Latner, that, that's been in and out. Um, and like I said, it's, it's a bigger cause than just playing the game. A lot of people just see the game. We see that we give an energy and more life to the guy that blessed all of us, right? And and all the glory to God. And, and so happy to end the way we ended. You mentioned keeping that energy. I guess my question is, where... How, how do you keep it alive? How do you, you know, keep it sustained, especially in a year where you guys have had so many downs, the moral victories are from setbacks that were out of your control. I mean, what, can you kind of explain where it comes from? What is it or, or, or how it comes to be? I love, I love them. First of all, uh, uh, we love our team, right? And and I don't, I, I think, I've been married three times, me personally, that's not that I, something that I'm proud of, but what I want to get with that point is that whatever whatever you feel that you got to do in life, you got to do, right? And 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 when you back when you back them up during the the, the, the worst times that they like like they, they don't even know what type of season they were coming into, right? And 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 now when God gave you a big promise, but he, He's gonna give you big problems too. So it's how you resolve and and and, and go uh, uh, head on to those problems, right? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you still got Curbelo, you got AC, you got Victoria, you got Viwaco, you got Tegra, you got, you know what I mean? Obviously, we, we, we're we playing for, when I say a bigger call, we're playing for Donovan too. You know what I mean? We're playing for Neftali, we're playing for Lee, because all those guys are there. But 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 they hurt because they can't help. But that's what brothers do, right? And, and, and what I mean by 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 us keeping our dreams alive, somebody got to win the the, the some the some the some conference, right? Last year we experienced running the table, right? Fourteen and four, we got bounced by South Alabama, which was a number eight seed. So you just got to be great for a weekend. Now the roller coaster of the season, that's what you got to handle, and you got to handle it with professionalism, knowing that if your goal is to play professional basketball, you have to you have to dominate where you at. So you can move on and you can get a job right after you finish. How special was it just to have Jay Ladner be able to participate today? You just bring an energy, right? That, that that you just when when you heard the news when 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 it happened, it crushed you because I mean you go back to when it started, for, especially for me, right? Um, I was after I, I coached professional basketball for for ten or eleven years. I'm bad with numbers. Um, I go back to high school. I thought I was coming back to, to professional basketball, but he was that man that gave, that blessed me, right? Blessed me and my family. Um, so it's my job and our job as a staff to bless him and keep blessing people through the help that he gave us. Because without him, without him opening the door, I'm not here. You know what I mean? So now once you're here, you got to be prepared and your past experiences play a role on how you handle what's thrown at you. Right, because I, I mean, it's not it's not that I just started doing this, right? And you can feel the energy that as a group, staff, players, uh, 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 administration, when we come together, the amazing things that we accomplish. But it starts and ends with with Coach Ladner, period. I thought this was a fantastic way for the seniors to go out at, at RGC. Can you just kind of talk about each of the seniors and how they perform this game? I'm big. And when I say bad, and I say I've been married three times, I say I don't care if you tell me you love me. Show me you love me. And that's one thing that I that I I talk about every day. You're gonna show me what you think through my through your actions. You don't even have to talk to me. So the way you 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 act 
you're gonna tell me what's in your head and and and, and what you're thinking. So we, I don't think, I don't think, like I said, I'm I'm fighting with them because everybody think right that they they playing as hard as they can. I don't think we play with the idea that I want to play as hard as I want to play. But we get in there. Like if you base it, if you base it on momentum, the the the, the guys, the the guys, little by little, they believe right going back to a couple of games because that's the only way you're gonna get out of this if you don't believe you have no shots because that we don't have a, a large bit is out of 14 teams only one's gonna win it so why are you different than everybody else why is why 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 are you have why do you have to go to the tournament so so my actions how hard do i play how together do i play how how do i take coaching right because i'm gonna be in your face 100% of the time, but how do you take that? Like, you know what I mean? And now, whenever I give you a compliment, you know it's from the heart because I don't, I don't want to be your friend. I want to coach you so you can take care of your family when you get out of here. And that's basically the relationship we have. Um, and I love everybody here. We love every everybody that comes through that door because if, if, if you are with the family, you're not against us. That's how I live. You're not with me, you're against us. It's either it's one of the two, two things you are either with us or against us so that's how we live our life we keep it simple but we make it about those kids in that locker room I thought, I thought one of the most important factors was starting fast it's something you've talked about over the last few games just um you know how, how are you able to kind of get that together going for this game i want to play as fast as we can why because it's extreme talent want to play fast and if you that helps everything right it helps fans he helps recruiting because you nobody want to come here, right? And 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 just walk the ball. And, and that's what one thing Coach Ladner talks about. We want to spread, score early, and score late. But but we want to take as many shots possible early in the shot clock. You know what I mean? Because now you got Curbelo moving, you got AC moving, you got uh, Mo on the pick and roll, you got Victor Hart making decisions. But at the same time, when you exhausted, even if you just go back. The hardest thing in basketball is to make decisions when you're tired. And just imagine if you're going at 100 miles, right? And now you got to make decisions at that speed. So you can't, you can't, like, there's no line between those lines. You, get, you either have it or you don't have it, right? So that's, the pace is something that will help everybody because we got scorers in every position. But then how do we make it fast? How do, how, how do we make it about those guys and put them in, in great situations for them to succeed. But at the same time, the team got to look good doing it. Do you ever, I think I've asked this before, but how do you not dwell or not think about the what ifs this team could have had this season with the amount of talent you brought back from last year? Even now, if Coach Ladner's out there coaching this team that's 100% healthy. Well, how does this look different if it does? I don't, I don't, nah. I mean, we, like I said, this is Coach Latner's program and, and, and basketball team. Um, we just hear uh, get, uh, having his back, just like he will do if, if, if that would have happened to me, right? Or Nick or say. Um, my thing is, how do, I don't live my life like that, right? Because if, if you, if you thinking about what could have happened, then you're not living the moment, right? You gotta live the moment and you gotta, God will throw the hardest test to his strongest soldiers. That's, I, I firmly believe that. Now, this this guys over here, I just told the, uh, the guys this morning, that those guys that, that came here two, for two years, they just landed the, the number, the, the 41st win in two years. 25 last year, 16 still this year, plus the tournament, plus we got two left. So there's something to be said, and then there's no way in the regular season for two years in a row we have a positive record. Think about that one. You know what I mean? So so those guys, that, that, yeah, they help you win a, a basketball game, but that's helping your family, right? Because if they win, the team wins, they help your family. How are we going to help them take care of their family? Because they help you for the, for the second year in a row, Southern Miss. And I told you since day one, I don't care what you throw at us. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out because they want to do it. 
They want to be pros. And if when you want to play pro, you're going to go to a different country. You probably go to anywhere. The coach might not speak English. Uh, um, the role might change. You will start here, but then you're a role player, whatever you go. So you have to make sure that you explain the whole scenario to them for them to fight. But, but, but I want to be very clear with everybody that has been here the last two years. I came here, right, on a leap of faith. Because that's what takes for the great, great ones to make it. Coach Latner told me, Juan, I don't want to be responsible for you bringing your family. And, you know, I don't know. I said, Coach, we're going to win it all. That was my first line because what I've been through. I don't have no plan B. I sleep in my car with my wife. You got, you, I mean, I, I hope somebody will understand that. I don't have no plan B. And that's why you sometimes you see me desperate because I don't want to go back. Nobody want to go back to where you started because then you didn't accomplish anything. You know what I mean? You got to keep moving forward, but you got to make it about those kids. How are they going to help the program first? Because in the season, it's about the team. But before the season and after the season, it's about each of those, each of those individuals by themselves. That's graduation for us. That's how you help guys move forward. And then we got to get the next wave of pros so they can go eat and help their families. That's how I see it. So I don't, I never go back and what if. No, I've always been consistent. Because when, when I, in my part, when I see young men right there, I've seen NBA guys. I've seen pros and men. So if you don't, if you don't have substance when you talk, an NBA guy, you, you lose him the first 30 seconds, you lose him. Because you don't want to hear that. You know what I mean? So if you can't do it with a man, don't pick your battles and do it to a kid. And that's how I live my life. One more question for Coach. Uh, Andre Curbelo, 30 minutes today. Just the progress he's made, because I know obviously he hasn't been healthy or you know hasn't played the games he wanted to play this year. How big is that, especially as we go toward Pensacola? And, you know, so Andre Curbelo, like mm -hmm. I said, he's not just the best pointer in the sun, but he's the best pointer in the country. But I don't see that. What I see is the, the, what, uh, the six turnovers that he made. How do we fix that? You understand what I'm saying? Because where he's going, where AC is going, there's a lot of them like them. So how do you, you, you do what you do, but how do you facilitate? And that's for him, and I'm telling you, right there at, at halftime, he walked, he, got, he caught Tamir, come back, and, and, and he, he knows. I, don't, I, I talk to him about missed free throws. I talk to him about turnovers. Because he got to make the team play. That's his job. I can't be saying, hey, okay, great job. AC, he got to score. That's his job description. Right, so so I'm always on his on their ear, telling them what probably they don't want to hear, but if they don't hear from you, it's gonna be hard because you you're not telling them the truth, you're not coaching them. So that's how I left with them. Extreme talent want to be coach, and that's what we're doing here. And and my best to to the staff because because they believe when there was nothing there, and now we have created something out of nothing. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right, you guys ready? All right, questions for Tayton Austin? All right, so just starting out, can both of you just kind of talk about what Southern Miss has meant to you throughout your careers here? Um, what it's meant to me, um, a, a first start, um, allowed me to be myself, um, allowed me to be around, you know, guys like Tate that just uh, pushed me to be the best person I could be. Um, I think it's... Um, the La Familia brought a new love to the game of basketball for me. Um, just by having such a uh, friendship, a brotherhood that we have uh, is unmatched. Uh, I, I'm thankful for each and every person that's a part of this program that just allowed, like I said, allowed me to be myself. And uh, I'm grateful for that. Um, I'll always be a son of Missy, go to New for the rest of my life. I'm always going to wear that black and gold, and I'm thankful for it. Yeah, I'm just, I mean, as everybody knows, I'm from here. Parents went here, uh, born and raised in this gym. So, I mean, it's, it's everything to me. That I can't even put into words how much Southern Miss means to me. And kind of bouncing off of that, what Southern Miss means to you growing up here, what did it mean to you to get that first career start and not only a first career start, draining a three and hearing the crowd go wild? I mean, I just needed to get in there. I, I, <laughs> you know, I knew I was going to make a shot. Straight out of warm-ups, I usually got to sit there for a while. I get a little tight. So I, I was loose this time since so going in. I'm 100% on a year. Wasn't going to change that tonight. <laughs> so that, 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 yeah. Big character, bro. <laughs>
How special was it just to have Jay Ladner out there before the game? Um, man, uh, that guy has helped me helped me uh, in so many ways. So just to see him healthy, see him uh, moving the way he is, man, it's a great feeling, man. He, he's he's uh, one of the great mentors that I always value for the rest of my life. Um, he's someone who's just uh, all about the team. He always worries about the team. Uh, he takes me all day when he was out and like he was playing games. He would take me all night. So um, just to allow him to come back, uh, get the love that he deserved, man. Um, you know, a lot a lot of people uh, look at LaFamilia at the players, but they forget that uh, Coach Ladd is the head of the snake of that. Uh, he was able to bring the guys in to uh, do what he do, which is win. So um, it was great for him to get that love. Thought thought that uh, Mo Arnold and Victor Hart had both both had a hell of a game. Can you just kind of talk on their performance? Um, I mean, when we're when when Vic's healthy, you know what he's bringing to the table. And and just to talk about Mo for a second, that dude comes to work every single day. Like he doesn't miss a day. The dude, he's the same guy every day. Comes to work, smiling. Like you don't know what's going on in Mo's life. He's the same guy every day. And I mean, it is not easy to do that. So props to both of them. They're just same dude, man. Tate, Tate, you guys were able to start fast. It felt like this one was, you know, one of the more complete ones. You know, something you've been really searching for. And as we wind down to the year, a win like this, what, what can that do for you guys as we get closer to turning the tide and stuff? It's all about when you can peak. Uh, we've gone through the peaks and valleys of the year, so I think right now we're we're hitting the top of the hill. You want to hit the top of the hill whenever the conference tournament starts, because at the end of the day, you got to win that one. That's the only that's the only week that really matters. So, I mean, it's everything. Kind of bounce off that, especially from the tape. What's it been like to just guy after guy go down this season? And what's it been like to kind of have to watch that unfold? I mean, it's it's disappointing when guys come to work every day and uh like get hurt. Everyone gives their all, so it's disappointing when you see guys go out, get injured, and you know they want to be out there and help. And guys can help that are injured. Have you? I think I've asked Austin this, but have you thought about a, the what ifs of this oh my, team? Yeah, I, I would. Me and I think me and Jeff were just talking about like if we were healthy. I think man, the sky's the limit for our team. We have every piece you need. Kind of same question for you, Austin. I mean, you guys have gone through so much this year, and a few moral victories are really just setbacks that you really had no control over. I mean, can you kind of talk about how you guys have just managed to keep it together and? I don't know if you think about the what this team could have been. Yeah, I'm not really a big what if guy, uh, but to um, piggyback on what Tay's saying is, uh, bro, we got so many valuable pieces that you know when you put them together in the puzzle, it makes makes a great picture. And um, it would be, it would have been nice to you know have a perfect season uh, with nobody get injured, but it's life, you know, ups and downs of life, uh, basketball ups and downs. So. Um, I'm just glad that we're able to, you know, get our team together right now. Um, and like you said, peak at the right point. Because if you can think about it, um, a team, uh, team, one of the teams last year that made the conference championship, uh, they were, they were that, they they didn't have the best record, but they hit their peak time at the right time, and they were able to win uh, late. So uh, just being able to go out there and compete is a big thing for us. So we're just ready to compete. But to kind of bounce off that, that team didn't have the ridiculous strength injuries yeah. you guys have had they your coach uh you know didn't deal with his issue off the court i mean yeah but i mean make it what, i guess my question is how much more would it mean for you guys to pull something out in the postseason in this final two stretch of game oh it would mean everything for us you know um we put we put we put that jersey on and um we don't we don't worry about the name on the back we worry about the name on the front so just for us to be able to go into postseason um, would be great. You know, we, we're shooting for the stars. We're not shooting for um, first round exit. We're shooting for final four. So, of course, we want to go out there and uh, have a really good conference time to make the um, postseason. But, um, like I said, we just got to go out there and keep competing like we did tonight. You guys are still in play then for the double buy. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on what happens next week and a few tiebreakers and all that stuff. But do you guys imagine, you know, talking about that, looking at those sort of things, or is it just going to be kind of Controlling what you can control and get your two wins and come, see what happens. No, come come to work. And, yeah. uh, we worry about we worry about whoever they play when they whenever the games are with. But right now we just gotta win these last two games. Uh, come in and focus preparation. Make sure our preparation is perfect, just like we were uh, this morning. And uh, I like our odds.
can you both just kind of talk about um, mostly on the season, but throughout your careers, what the student section has kind of brought out and, and what it means to you? Because I mean, it would turn the th th off, sort of. I mean, <laughs> throughout the season, you know, making yeah. signs that say we love Coach Ladner, making signs showing support, and then even today, you have members of the baseball team who, coming off of a tough loss, still threw on white and still oh, yeah. came out. Yeah, shout out to them boys. Hey, yeah. hey, let them know we they're mess with the yeah. baseball team. Hey, we Two like baseball us. guys. Right Real here, talk man. now. I mess with the baseball team. Yeah, we knew they were gonna be here, but I, my first year here, so three years ago. I mean, there's like nobody in the stands, period. And like, you got two rows of students every game to see like what it's become is insane. But it's, I mean, it's a good feeling to know. Yeah, and for me, when I, my first game here, my literally my first game here, I could probably can count how many people were in the stands. And man, to see it grow uh, over these last two years, uh, it's been great, man. Uh, my bad, it's really hit me right now. This is my last game here. But um, it's been great, man, just see. Uh, see it grow, um, yeah, man. Just see it grow, man. What's which is more impressive, the season you guys had last year with the twenty-something wins, or the somehow the fact that you guys have put together sixteen wins are still in the hunt for the double buy? Um, I think I think I think to me, um, I don't I really don't even judge it like that. I think I'm just in more off of. Uh, I was able to come. I was able to come in and be able to play and contribute to a winning team. Um, I, both years were great. I, I wouldn't trade neither one. Of, neither one of these years for anyone in the world. But just different. Yeah, it's just different. It's, it's different love, you know. Some, sometimes you get. Sometimes you love. Um, like my dad always say, you can't pray for a rainbow and not be ready to stump through the mud, you know, because it's going to have to rain. So just going through this season, um, seeing the ups and downs, but still be coming out, uh, you know, good at the end is. Uh, it's everything to me just to win and. Just wanted to keep going. One more question for these two. Uh, Austin, as a guy who's out there nearly every minute, you know, Andre Gravel obviously he hasn't played in the amount of games he's wanted to play, but he played 30 minutes tonight. Just mm -hmm. to you know, keep gelling with him, especially as we go down an important stretch of year. Um, you know, how much more chemistry are are you building with him? You think? Um, we build a lot of chemistry with him, uh, even in practice. Uh, Andre is one of those guys who has the ball in his hand, so he gets everybody involved. So, um, just. By being on the court with them in game time moments, crunch time games, that's the only way you're gonna build that, you know, that chemistry and uh, understanding what he's gonna do. But man, I think he's doing very well for him to sit out there long. He's doing very well, eight fifteen, you know, and just making free throws. And he's also a great rebounder. So just allow him to be himself. Uh, I think that better the team. I got one thing though. Shout out AC. He's a big piece, big reason, probably the, maybe the biggest reason we are here today. Like the atmosphere is what it is, and people's expectations are what they are for us. So big shout out to him. He gets the love. Uh, he, deserves, he deserves all the love. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Thank you, guys.